passive income. It's the holy grail, right? Especially for anyone who's read Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Workweek. But could passive income be a reality for you as a singer, actor, dancer, musician, or any other kind of performing artist? I got to tell you, the answer is yes. Hi, I'm Fiona, and I help performing artists to master social media and online business so you can make more money with your art without wasting time or burning out. Okay, here's the thing. I am a performing artist just like you, and I do, in fact, have passive income. In fact, just this morning, the top of my inbox were two new sales, one application to work with me one-to-one, and a payment from Stripe. How cool is that? And yes, if you hear a dog whine or some cats meowing, there's kind of a standoff going right now with me in the middle. But back to passive income. Well, you may say, okay, great, Fiona, that's fine for you. You're a business coach as well as a performing artist. And I get it. But you know what? I also have passive income coming in from my music. My very first CD, I am still getting payments from CD Baby. I don't know. That was 2004. This is 2022. So however many years you do the math, I think it's eight. (laughs) So eight years later, I'm still getting passive income from that very first CD. It is absolutely possible. My clients are doing it and you can do it too. So what is passive income? Huh? What is diversified income? That's what we're going to talk about today. So basically, passive income is when you don't have to trade your time directly for the money. So for example, I've got a program called Real Magic. It's all created 200 plug and play real scripts, prompts, templates, hooks, and ideas at your fingertips. And all you have to do is go to the page where I talk about it and click buy and check out and it's yours automatically, immediately. And I didn't do anything, right? I wake up and I get a sale. I'm off living my life, hanging out with my kids, making a YouTube video. I check my email. There's a sale. It's done. Now, here's the thing though about passive income. I did have to create those 200 real scripts, prompts, templates, uh, hooks, and ideas, right? Before I could offer them to you, to performing artists who want to make more reels faster themselves. I did have to make them. So that's the thing about passive income. Most of the time, there is a certain amount of effort that goes in on the front end in order for you to reap the benefits on the back end. And that's also why so many people don't bother to to create passive income in the first place. It just feels too hard, but it's not. It's not that hard. It just does take some time. And what this does is it diversifies your income. It means that you are not only dependent upon your students showing up, gigs not getting canceled, etc. It means you don't have to always be worried about booking your next gig or where your next student is coming from because you have that passive income coming in on a regular basis. And it's a different kind of income, diversified income. So for me, I make money still through my CD, through theater contracts for sure, and then also through my one-to-one business coaching. Okay, so the theater contracts, the one-to-one business coaching, that does require me showing up time for money, right? I do those things because I love them. But already that's diversified. One is performing, one is business coaching. But on top of that, I have other products and programs like Real Magic and also the Profitable Performer Revolution and also YouTube Domination. And all of those are either totally passive or relatively passive. I poured my heart and soul into creating them in the first place, but now they are created. And yes, I do update them from time to time. So. Passive income is not totally passive, but it's a far cry from this trading time for money that happens at a day job or even when you're on stage performing or working with a one-to-one student. All of this is making sense, right? You can let me know in the comments. So now let's talk about three clear ways that you as a performing artist, as a singer, dancer, actor, musician, magician, anything can in fact develop passive income. And the first one is your art itself. 
Isn't that amazing? You can actually gain passive income from your art. This is like residuals if you're in a movie. It's like what's happening for me with CD Baby and the CD that I made eight years ago. It's also digital art and the new market for NFTs. But here are two mistakes that I see so many performing artists making when it comes to creating passive income with their art. And the first one is that you're just not doing it because you're waiting. You're waiting for representation. You're waiting for an agent. You're waiting for somebody to give you permission. You're waiting for somebody outside of yourself to tell you that you're good enough. And I'm saying right now, stop waiting and start creating, okay? And then the second mistake you're making is that you're prioritizing your own artistic expression over what is actually marketable. Now, I would never tell an artist that you should only make what's marketable. That's just not how I roll, ever. But you do want to at least consider what people actually wanna buy. So I'm not saying that you're gonna sell out. I'm not saying you're gonna stop making art that matters to you. What I am saying is that you're gonna find the intersection between the art you wanna create and the art that people wanna buy. I see my cats on the video. <laughs> I hope you like cats and dogs because this, this particular video is featuring them heavily. So one more time, it's all about finding the intersection between what you wanna create and what your audience actually wants to buy from you. So how do you figure this out, that intersection between what you wanna create and what your audience wants from you? Market research, and I'm gonna create a whole video about that in the future. But if you can't wait, then you wanna join my program, The Profitable Performer Revolution, because inside there I teach you everything about business, marketing, content, including how to do market research. So here's something interesting about that CD I was telling you about. At some point I went back and checked which were the songs that were actually making me the most money because it wasn't the album as a whole. It turned out that there were specific songs. And one of those songs is one called Come Ready and See Me. It's rather obscure. It's not some popular song that everybody knows. But here's the thing. It is a song that works really well for young opera singers at their juries and their recitals. Because when you are in music school, you often have to have an American art song. And this is a beautiful song that counts as an American art song. Here's a little clip. But you must haste on foot or by sky. And I actually recorded the whole thing as a YouTube video, which you can watch here. But a lot of people haven't recorded this song. And so if you're a young singer looking for that song as you're trying to study for your jury, maybe you wanna hear some different interpretations, well, you would discover my version. And so this is that interesting thing about creating art that is actually marketable that there's strategy behind it. So let's say you are a pianist who creates accompaniment tracks. Well, it's a great idea to create a whole bunch of accompaniment tracks for, let's say, Christmas carols, and then make those available on a special sale right around Black Friday, right in November, right before the holidays. So this is the kind of entrepreneurial, outside of the box thinking that I want you to adapt and that I'm teaching you here on my channel, inside of my free Facebook group, which you can join in the description below, as well as, of course, in my actual programs. It's not so hard to make real money, even to accumulate wealth as an artist, once you start thinking outside of the box, take responsibility for your bank account, and stop waiting for some kind of miracle where you get discovered which by the way is what I did for years and it didn't work. That's why I'm so passionate about giving you a different way. Okay, so the next path to passive income is creating some kind of online learning tool like the ones I've been talking about. Real Magic, YouTube Domination, The Profitable Performer Revolution. These are my online learning tools for performing artists. But one of the biggest mistakes I see performers making is thinking that these kinds of programs and products and courses are only for the teachers and the coaches and not for the event performers, for example, not for the singer songwriters. This is not true. Maybe you don't ever want to teach one-to-one, -one, but you've got an awful lot to say about songwriting. You absolutely could create a course on songwriting and never once have to actually teach songwriting one-to-one. -one. Wow, 
Diversified income. Wow. Passive income coming your way. So don't immediately discount the idea of creating some kind of learning tool just because you don't want to teach one to one. Even a magician could create an online learning tool all about how to do the magic tricks, unless it's still a thing that you're not allowed to give out those tricks. Okay. Here's a bonus tip. You do not have to be the center of your passive income stream. You do not have to be the center of your passive income stream. What am I talking about? Affiliate marketing, add affiliate marketing to your diversified income options. I am personally a member of the Amazon affiliate program. Click any of the Amazon links in the description below and it will give me a little bit of money. In fact, I highly encourage you to use those affiliate links, not just for me, but everyone on the internet, all of the people, all of the creators that you follow and that you really enjoy their content. Most of us have some kind of affiliate option and this is such a great way for you to pay us without paying us, right? You don't have to buy our programs. It was something you were gonna buy anyway and we referred you to it. Why not show that creator a little bit of love by actually buying through their link? This is something that I have started to do myself very intentionally. If a creator refers me to something specific and I'm grateful for that referral, then I intentionally may even go back to find their link and purchase through it. Now, when it comes to your affiliate links, I highly recommend that you only choose products, programs, etc., that you totally believe in, okay? Don't go selling stuff you don't believe in. This is a core principle of what I teach and inside of my program PPR, sell in integrity. The reason that I can be joyful about selling is because I'm always doing it in alignment with who I am as a person and as an artist. So when you do share affiliate links, make sure they are things you truly believe in. Would you like a whole video about affiliate marketing? If so, let me know in the comments. Okay, now another very obvious path to passive income is merch, of course, especially merch with drop shipping. What's drop shipping? It's the opposite of what I had with all of the boxes in my living room full of CDs. Instead, somebody orders your t-shirt, for example, with the logo on it or the cool saying that you have created and they order it and it gets made to their order wherever your drop shipping connection is, gets shipped directly from there and all that you did was the original design, the promotion for the offer and make the money. Gone are the days where you have to have a whole bunch of product in your living room. And again, this is amazing for, yes, performing artists who are doing gigs and you've got your shirts and your hats and the typical merch, but also for a singing teacher who's got, let's say, a journal or a t-shirt with your favorite slogan or a mug. Anybody can have merch. Here are two great examples. One is Sing Pretty Designs. I love, as an opera singer, all of these wonderful quotes, they land for me as a classical singer. And you can find a link to check her stuff out in the description. And then also one of our PPR clients, Kayla, who's got a whole shop and had some amazing gifts on sale around the holidays. And you can check out her link in the description. Okay, yes, for all of these passive income options, there is a requirement of you putting in some time and even some money on the front end. You've got to build the thing, whatever it is that you're doing, and you've got to know how to market it. You can't just create the merch and then expect people to buy it. You can't create a passive learning tool and expect people to buy it if you don't know how to promote it. And this, of course, is what I also teach inside of PPR. But what I most want you to take away from this particular video is that passive income is a viable option for you as a performing artist. Okay, are we clear? You can develop your own streams of diversified passive income. Wow. So if you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you join my free Facebook community. I made it especially for the entrepreneurial performing artist just like you. There's a link to that in the description and also to my Instagram where I show up daily in my feed and also on my stories, teaching you as a performing artist how to sell on the internet because I truly believe that you as an artist need, deserve to get your voice out into the world, to get your art, your teaching, your coaching, everything out into the world. And the only way that you're gonna do that, especially as an indie artist, is to learn how to self-promote.
If you want to learn more about how to make money on the internet, things like offers, sales, and funnels, then watch that video next. All right. And as always, go out into the world and let your light shine. You deserve to be heard and the world deserves to hear you.